Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your weekly general reading for the 10th to the 16th of June, 2019. I am using the Sacred Traveler Oracle, Reaching Your Destination. Your light is shining brightly. Beautiful Capricorn. I'm also using the Energy Oracle. Beautiful. Door to personal healing and happiness. I'm using the Witch's Tarot this week, uh, Capricorn. And at the end of the reading, I will be pulling a Power Thought card and a Life Loves You card. Alright, Spirit. What does Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. 10th through the 16th, Spirit. Thank you. We are ready, Capricorn. All right. Beautiful. Situation of the week, Ace of Pentacles. Crossing you, Page of Cups. Nice. Foundation is the Ace of Wands. Recent past energy, Nine of Swords. Crowning you is the Five of Cups. New circumstance is the Eight of Swords. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, very nice, the Empress. All right, Capricorn. Spirit. I want to clarify the Nine of Swords in the recent past position for Capricorn. The Fool. Five of Cups, crowning Capricorn spirit. What is this Five of Cups? Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Swords spirit, new circumstance. Eight of Swords. Two of Cups. All right. All right, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your major energies. We have reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. I love this. You know where you're going. You're focused. I feel, Capricorn, you may have been through some challenging times. Getting to where you're at right now. 
especially in the recent past, maybe starting a new beginning, getting something off the ground. May have been with your finances. It may have had to do with a relationship, okay, or a partnership. Door to personal happiness, healing, and happiness. Most definitely, there's been some time of healing for you, especially with the Nine of Swords coming up in your recent past. Could have been a situation where you lost a lot of sleep. Maybe anxiety. Some of you may have even sought out maybe some, some therapy, counseling. This most definitely could have had to do with you starting a new beginning with another person. If it wasn't with another person, it may have been a business venture or something you were investing your time in. And I feel maybe it didn't go quite as planned, okay? But I can see here, it's it's worked itself out for you, Capricorn. And that's why this energy of reaching your destination is coming up here. You have allowed your light to shine, that inner child, okay? Because of your trust and your faith. So now you're shining brightly. You've allowed yourself to heal. And this just opens up opportunities for blessings to come in. To your life, Capricorn. Empress. Beautiful energy right here. Love. The energy of Venus. This is very nurturing energy. Very grounded. There's a lot of creativity here. And this is the overall energy. For some of you, you may be expecting a child or you may have a new child that has come into your, your life. I feel for the majority, this is all about growth and expansion. With this, you have several new beginnings here. And I feel now you're starting to see the that expansion and growth coming to fruition, coming back to you. Situation of the week, Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful energy here, you guys. This is a seed that you've planted. This could be a new beginning in prosperity, good health. This is something as long as it's nurtured, okay? This is what can come from this. Growth, expansion. Something you can touch. Tangible. This is reward for effort. This is something long-lasting, as long as it's taken care of. Okay, this could be a new job. This could be a change of circumstances. Starting a new business. But it's very positive. Now we have the Page of Cups crossing you. This can either be a positive for you or a challenge. I see it as a positive. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is you, Capricorn, listening to your intuition. Going with the ebb and flow. Understanding that divine connection that flows within you from source. Paying attention to what's going on around you and inside of you and using that 
to be able to have a new beginning, to be able to move forward. This is psychic energy right here. And you're, you're really tapping into that and you're using it for your benefit, Capricorn. This is, what's, this is what is driving you this week. Ace of Wands in your foundation. This is what's got you up and going. This is you having a creative vision. New beginning and a fresh start, an adventure, something that you're very passionate about. Something that you want, you desire. Something you are going after. Now in your recent past, we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Fool. Nine of Swords is the energy of sleepless night, anxiety, overwhelmed by feelings. I can most definitely see why with the Fool clarifying that energy. It can be a bit scary at times when you are starting a new beginning, when you're taking that leap of faith. No one, you know, it, it's never easy when you start a new journey. But as, as long as you allow yourself to trust in the universe and listen to your intuition, you can get over the anxiety, okay? Because you have faith and belief in what it is that you're truly doing. And I see you doing this here, Capricorn. You come out of that, that fear and that anxiety. Could have had to do with your financial situation. Because what's crowning you, what you know, what you're thinking about is the Five of Cups. Clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, which makes a lot of sense here. This, this worry and anxiety, overwhelmed by your feelings, by starting this new journey, this new beginning, whatever this is to you. Maybe it left you feeling like all you could see is what maybe has been spilled. The challenges that's, that's taken place starting this new journey. Maybe has you having that self-doubt or regret. But then you turn around and you see that there's two chalices here, two cups, two blessings, two opportunities. And you're like, wow. Now you're doing this. You're standing tall. Seven of Pentacles. Now, now you're thinking about how you're going to use these two opportunities. And what's funny, Capricorn. Three cups been spilt. Two blessings, two opportunities right there, okay? You have a new beginning right here. This is the current situation. This creative vision. This could be the same uh, beginning but it could involve putting finances with that creative vision into play. That's that, that two cups there. And then you end your reading with the two of cups. I mean, if this isn't telling you something, I, I just don't know what is. It's right here. Confirmation. Seven of Pentacles. You see those two opportunities. Now you're deciding. You're really contemplating here about how you're going to maybe spend your money or invest your money. This could be your time as well. This is all about evaluation and assessment. Now whether it's your finances or it's your time you're going to put into this. But now you're starting to figure it out. Starting to move forward past this energy here. You see the opportunities. You see the blessings. 
the new circumstance is the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Two of Cups. It's time to take the blindfold off. Maybe you're isolating yourself, feeling vulnerable. This is the energy of feeling restriction, restricted, you know. Getting stuck. You just came out of it, you guys. But you're you're teetering. And I really feel like this with this what's going on here, it's very important that you listen to your intuition, Capricorn, whatever this situation is. The answers you seek always lie within you. All right, so tap into that. I feel like it's very important for you guys to believe in yourself this week, Capricorn. You have beautiful cards here. You're reaching your destination, but there is a lot of anxiety. Um... And, you know, a, a lot of times, and, you know, people don't just start something or start a new beginning and it's just perfect. Life doesn't work that way. We would never learn anything if we didn't have the challenges or obstacles that come with the success, right? Two of Cups clarifying the Eight of Swords. This is a commitment of some type. Commitment maybe of work, your time. This could be romantic. This could be you becoming one with your higher self as well, Capricorn, because we do have door to personal healing and happiness as well. Whatever this is to you, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy to come from the Eight of Swords to the Two of Cups. Whatever it is that you're doing, the overall energy is all about growth and expansion, Capricorn. You know where it is that you want to be, where you're going. You're reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. You've gone through a time of personal healing. And there's happiness that's emerging. Because you're trusting in yourself and the universe, spirit. Whatever this new beginning is, whether it's financial, maybe this is your spiritual well-being as well, but you're trusting in your intuition. You're allowing your own inner guidance to move you forward. Very passionate about something, very passionate. Whatever this creative vision is with this new beginning. You may have been overwhelmed, but you've been able to break free from that overwhelming feeling. Doesn't mean you haven't forgotten about where you, how far you've come or where you've come from with this Five of Cups. You do recognize the opportunities that lie ahead of you. Now you're evaluating your time, your money, to be able to move forward. You're going to break free from this, this energy of isolation. You're going to commit to something, whether it's yourself, someone else. This could be a, a business partnership as well. Very nice reading, Capricorn. Very nice. All right. I love my body. Do a downward dog. Take a dance class. Book a foot massage. Be kind to your body. 
I feel like that is be kind to your mind as well, Capricorn. Don't be so hard on yourself. All my relationships are harmonious. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer, always. All right, Capricorn, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Capricorn.